Back to you, Stephanie. Well, shelter workers in Iowa are braving the bitter cold, all for the sake of rescued farm animals. Dave Malkoff has a look at how they're battling sub-zero temperatures to keep them safe from the life-threatening cold. Here in Iowa, headline-making deadly cold is gripping Davenport, Des Moines, Sioux City, and Cedar Rapids, where schools are shut down and the people who care for animals hey, babies. have to spend much more time outside than anyone would like to. Everybody warm enough? When it's 22 below. Hi, Tessa. Welcome to Hercules Haven. We're a farm animal rescue here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and we take unwanted farm animals. They live here forever. About 45 animals live here, former racehorses, giant hogs, goats. Come on, Juno. And Juno the sheep with four inches of wool under one inch of ice. She may be warm, but... The little goats over there, they need coats. And then the big racehorse running around, she needs a coat. Uh, racehorses are bred to not have thick fur. Danny and Allison Stone started this farm rescue in 2016. On a normal day, volunteers would be here to help with the animals. Nobody's coming out today. This is brutal. I haven't had temperatures like this sustained for 48 hours and I don't think in my entire life, even up in Caribou, Maine. Come and say hi. Single file, the potbelly pigs step out of their heated barn, once tiny pets for people who didn't realize how fast they grow into a 300-pound menace in their apartment. This one alone is about 140 and we know he's about 120. Babe the hog is five times that size. She fell off an Iowa hog truck um, about a year and a half ago. She weighed about 15 pounds, was covered in road rash. Ah, she bit me. I know, she's like, are you a friend? <laughs> she's trying she's to bite through my out. boot. Yeah. But she has gained, we're guessing, about 600 pounds in the past year. Every animal needs extra food and constant water on a day like this. Yeah, be careful. Take care of your animals, check on them often, check on your loved ones, because it's, uh, it's life-threatening and it's dangerous. In Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Come on, Juno. He's a good girl. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. What are we feeling Dave's going to try to bring that animal back with him uh, here to Atlanta? Now, meanwhile, things are heating up in Atlanta ahead of Sunday's game.